I just find it so hard to believe that this is actually happening. That that this is reality now. That that there are actual support genocide, want to commit genocide, fascistic Nazis in the White House dictating policy, controlling how the largest country in the world which has the ability to fight two world war two Gulf War sized wars simultaneously that such a large and powerful country that has won the 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 two world wars that has that won the Cold War, that such a country is ruled by actual genocidal Nazis. Like, that happened. That's happening. The Nazis have America and, and Russia love them. <laughs> it's like, well, we weren't watching The Nazis pulled off the most horrific and tremendous coup in the history of the world. Because they've gotten the two superpowers that won the last two world wars and that were either side of the Great Cold War. And they have them in favour of fascism and genocide. This... This is an apocalypse. This is World War Three. This is... a fight for humanity. Because you might be sitting there in your, your pretty little houses Thinking that, that you're all so safe because you're white and you're not Jewish. I've got news for you. Nazis don't stop at Jews. Nazis don't stop at Muslims. Nazis don't stop at this definition of different. At this definition of different. Over time, Nazis just draw more and more barriers, more and more, more restrictions. Ah, well, actually, um, you know, now, now that we're all pure blood people, so you, you, your, your hairstyle's a bit weird. You, you don't talk in the right way. You don't use the right language. And they just keep discriminating and discriminating and discriminating because Nazi ideology is toxic and contrary to humanity. Now, it is a question that was was posed on Twitter and I don't normally tr bother debating this stuff because I refuse to accept the, the premise of the questions. But I think this is worth pointing out. Someone asked, well, well, what if, what if you, you just someone who's, you know, a stay-at-home mum and you voted Brexit because you were worried about your jobs because you read too much of the Daily Mail. If that is the case, you need to do some thinking and you need to decide for yourself. Because all across America and, and all across Europe, and, and basically the parts of the world that are likely to give a shit. People are gonna be considering whether what side they are, what side they're on. Do you support genocide? Are you in favour of genocide? Are you going to support people who are in favour of genocide? Because if you do, if you are 
in favour of genocide if you are going to support people who want to perform genocide, then you are a danger to humanity. And you are a Nazi and you're the bad guys. You're a threat that must be neutralized. Now, I'm, I'm still kind of in the honeymoon period of like, hey, Trump can be impeached! Congress can stop them! Well, people will realize that, that this is happening and, and they'll find a peaceful solution, and I hope they will. But the chances are that if you are a Nazi, if you are in favor of genocide, then the time is going to come when you're going to have to get shot at. You're going to have to start dying. Because genocide cannot be tolerated. It can't be. Right? It, it, it could be tolerated in kind of, hey, the, we're the magnanimous people who will let you have free speech sort of way, so long as you stay the fuck away from the levers of power. But the moment there's a fucking Nazi controlling America, the moment there is a Nazi dictating what such a massive force of arms does, then they have to die! And, and the thing is, is that, like, I pose no threat to the Nazi regime. Because this is America. This is a country that is capable of fighting two Gulf War-sized wars at once. And Russia loves them. This isn't good. This really isn't fucking good. Not at all. And, and I keep wanting some, some definition, some, some reinterpretation, some